Trials of Osiris is back this week and so let's break down some of the new and returning weapons that you'll be able to get this season. In return, maybe drop a like and leave a sub so that you can come back next time for some more helpful Destiny 2 content and maybe also tell a friend as well. This time we are starting off with Aisha's Care which is the brand new heavy burst pulse rifle and this is the first new weapon that has been introduced within the final shape for the Trials of Osiris loot pool and this thing is going to be highly sought after I think it is a unique archetype of weapon and there isn't many heavy burst two round burst weapons in the game so if, if you like revision zero in pvp it's going to really allow you to lean into play style that these heavy burst weapons offer and it's also going to open up your exotic slot to allow you to use something maybe more preferential in your energy weapon or maybe even your heavy slot so in terms of perks on this thing then to be fair it has got a ton of good perks both for pvp and pve content in terms of pvp first then what are you going to want on this thing because it is a trials of osiris weapon then it does come with the alacrity origin trait whereby it's going to give you a boost to your range stability reload and aim assist when you are the last guardian standing or running solo content now this has been recently updated so that this perk doesn't work in rumble anymore so any of you rumble tryhards then this thing isn't going to be active anymore but all in all that is a good origin trait and if you are using it even outside of pvp and using it in pve content so such as solo lost sectors and other solo content then this perk really does increase the viability of a ton of weapons especially the sluggish ones which the heavy burst ones and the pulse rifles definitely are but in terms of perks that you're going to want to look for on this thing then encore is always a great little trait that's going to give you a boost to range stability and your accuracy cone size and is a really good perk if you can get that one rolling You've also got the brand new perk to the pain whereby when this weapon is equipped taking damage increases handling and aim assist until the weapon is stored. Now that's going to be a really good little perk on these weapons to be fair and probably a little bit of a slept on perk on a ton of weapons just because of how new it is. Depending on how big that increase to handling and aim assist is, then it's going to be really good if you like aggressive play styles, if you like getting in on the action, it's going to tighten up the stickiness on this weapon and it's going to make it really snappy to use as well. Otherwise, you've got under pressure, which can never be underrated on PvP weapons because it's going to give you a bonus to your stability as well as the accuracy cone size and just is a really good little perk. Likewise a Zen moment is probably one of the best perks at the minute. In terms of using it on a two round burst and even on any pulse rifle then it really tightens up the feel of the weapon and turns basically any pulse rifle into a laser beam and it's definitely going to be one perk that you probably want to get on this. Keep away is also a top tier perk on pvp weapons it's going to give you a nice little boost to your range and reload speed as well as a little bit of an increase in your accuracy all you have to do is be more than 15 meters away from enemies and with this being a heavy burst two round pulse rifle then you're going to be further away more often than not to get the optimal range on this weapon in terms of perks that you're going to want to pair with any of them in the final column then you've got the old popular kill clip which is going to give you that nice 25% damage increase. You've also got collective action which can do a ton of things especially with prismatic subclasses and all the elemental pickups that's going to give you a 20% damage increase. You've got Desperado which is also going to give you a massive boost to that rate of fire for six seconds on reloading after a final blow and Golden Tricon is always a solid pick. It's going to give you that nice 15% damage boost on final blows with this weapon for seven seconds and if you can manage to get the magical grenade or powered melee final blow whilst you have that one time stack you're going to get a massive 50% increase in damage for 10 seconds if you do get that rolling then I'm pretty sure Legola Flash will be your best friend otherwise you've got head seeker and moving target which are just solid all round options and are kind of one of them always active perks and that's really it in terms of this weapon PvP wise this thing is absolutely stacked alternatively if you really do want a good solid all round work alternatively if you do want a good solid all round roll then I think Slice and Hatchling is going to do bits in both PvP and PvE content obviously Slice is going to sever targets on using your class ability so it's going to make them deal 
40% less damage to you and then final blows with hatchling are gonna spawn fredlings and they really just go mess things up and can cause quite a lot of damage in the crucible to be honest all in all the aisha's care pulse rifle is definitely going to be a top tier weapon to get and one i think you should be chasing down now we are just going to do a quick rundown of some of the returning weapons and one of the old favourites Shira's Wrath is returning this season. Now in terms of new perks on this thing you've got Strategist whereby final blows with this weapon are going to generate class ability energy and you can pair that with any number of perks in that final column. You've got Cascade Point on it this time which is going to give you a massive increase to its rate of fire on rapid precision hits with another weapon and this thing was mega popular i think the archetype has been nerfed somewhat recently but i can still see this thing doing absolute bits in pvp target lock is on this one this time around as well so it might be one to keep an eye out for Eye of Sol is also returning with a brand new perk pool and this thing is one of my favourite weapons in PvP and to be honest it doesn't really have the perks that I like on it but it may be one that comes in terms of perks that you probably want to look out for on this then moving target opening shot you can't go wrong with that combo you've also got no distractions and perpetual motion which are always really good on these sniper rifles in terms of other perks maybe you've got snapshot sights which is going to make this thing really snappy and Vorpal weapon can always do things in terms of taking out other players whilst they're in their supers. Definitely not a bad sniper rifle to chase after and if you want a good solid PvP sniper rifle then this thing really is the one to chase after. Incisor is the strand adaptive frame trace rifle. Now if you haven't got a good strand trace rifle already whether you've got the exotic from the ghost of the deep dungeon then this thing is definitely worth chasing with the slice and hatchling combo always a really good pick you can alternatively go with envious assassin and maybe killing tally which is also going to give you that massive boost to the magazine size and killing tally is going to give you that nice 30 percent damage increase at a free time stack and if you pair that with any of your favorite strand or even prismatic builds then this thing can do absolute bits in a ton of content likewise the profit is returning as well this season in the loot pool for trials of osiris and this scout rifle is really solid i think to be fair if you want to look at this one then i think either demolitionist and headstone or rapid hit and headstone is the way to go with it if you want a damage boosting perk then maybe kill clip precision instrument definitely worth chasing after last on the list we've got the summoner which is the adaptive frame 600 rpm auto rifle has the really good perk combination of heel clip and incandescent definitely worth chasing after if you want a good solid auto rifle with them two perks alternatively you can get overflow and onslaught which is just going to tear through a ton of enemies and you're going to have that massively boosted magazine size as well definitely some solid perks on a ton of these weapons and i would highly recommend chasing down the new strand pulse rifle as well so there we go quick breakdown of all the new trials of osiris weapons that are returning with the final shape in season 24 let me know what you're going to be chasing after thank you very much for watching remember to drop a like if you found this video helpful and if you want a top tier build to chuck any of these weapons into then i think you need to check out this video next